I'm Rick Hansen, and I want to welcome you here. As is our common practice, we'll meditate uh, beginning in a moment for the next 35 minutes or so. Then we'll take a brief 10-minute break, resuming at a quarter to the hour, quarter to seven Pacific time. Uh, then I'll give a talk um, tonight about finding presence and peace in everyday life, drawing on the power of concentration. Uh, and open it up for questions and discussion, mainly coming in through the chat. We'll end about 7.30 Pacific time, half past the hour, and then after a brief interlude in which those who want can leave, uh, those who remain uh, will have a chance to be moved into breakout rooms in Zoom for about 20 minutes in which you have an opportunity to talk with other people. You get randomly assigned to those rooms, and they're not mandatory. They're entirely voluntary. And you have a chance to share with other people uh, about the topics of the evening. Uh, tonight I'm going to build on what I we explored last week about the power of concentration, um, could also be said steadiness of mind, purification of mind. And uh, last week I talked about five traditional factors of concentration, uh, including their neurological underpinnings. And in this meditation, we'll explore in particular four of them. The one I will leave out is kind of hard to experience uh, just coming out of the door uh, in a relatively brief meditation, the factor of bliss, but the other factors we'll be exploring here. Okay, so let's meditate. Uh, finding a posture that helps you feel comfortable and alert. With your eyes open or closed. You're welcome to sit or stand or lie down or walk. As always, feel free to adapt my suggestions to whatever is good for you. Establishing yourself wherever you are. Perhaps looking around a bit to help yourself feel comfortable and to claim your place. This is your place here and now. You're establishing yourself in the present with a sense of presence. Experiences will come and go. Sounds, thoughts, desires, all of it will bubble up and then pass on through you while you remain present. A space of awareness a beingness through which everything flows while you stably remain. It's very comforting to find this sense of stability in the midst of ever-changing experiences and the changes in the world around us. We can find refuge, really, in the stability of our own present moment awareness. To establish the stability of present moment awareness and to find the strength, the resilience, the happiness and the inner peace that is available in it, it's very useful to train the mind to become more concentrated. And so in this meditation, I will suggest 
four factors in particular of concentrated presence of mind. It's okay if your mind wanders. Just bring it back gently. This practice is designed to be a little muscular in the beginning. And then as the meditation unfolds, it will become increasingly automatic for you and easy for you to remain present. So, finding an anchor for your attention. I'll refer to the sensations of breathing. Feel free to choose something else. The first factor of steadiness of mind is applying attention. And the second factor is sustaining attention. To use a metaphor from Sally Clough Armstrong, it's like skating on the ice. As we plant our foot, we apply attention. And then as we glide, we are sustaining attention. So for example, if you're using the breath, You can apply your attention to the beginning of an inhalation and then sustain your attention, gliding along it for the duration of that inhalation. And then apply your attention to the exhalation as it begins and then sustain attention along its course, staying in touch with the exhalation all the way from its beginning to its end. And then doing this again and again. So see if you can sustain your attention to every single breath for the next one minute. Applying attention to the beginning and sustaining attention along its course. If you like, aware of the sensations of breathing right around the nose and upper lip. Here we go for one minute. Begin. That was one minute. Let's try another minute, aware of the sensations of breathing around the nose and upper lip for another minute.
that was the second minute. Now if you like, you can expand the awareness of breathing to your whole chest. Getting a sense of the air moving in, the air flowing out, the chest rising and falling. Being aware of the sensations of breathing in your chest for one minute straight, starting now. Good. How about another minute? Breathing while feeling your chest as a whole. And now for the next two minutes, staying aware of breathing while feeling your body as a whole.
And now, letting the sense of the body and breathing move to the background of awareness, while we focus on the third factor of concentration, which is often translated as joy, positive emotions. And we're going to explore three aspects of joy, beginning with most obvious happiness, then contentment, and then tranquility. We're not forcing anything here. It's more of an invitation and an opening into. So in whatever ways are authentic for you, beginning with a sense of gratitude, thankfulness, or anything else that helps you feel happy. In effect, shifting from the breath as the object of meditation to gratitude and happiness. It's okay to let yourself feel happy. In the background of your mind, there could be other feelings like sorrow or pain. And see if you can, in this training that we are doing, focus on gratitude or memories or images that bring a smile. Taking happiness as your object of meditation It's fine if the sense of thankfulness or happiness is subtle. It's also okay if you can't get in touch with it. It's okay. And now let's see if the sense of gratitude and perhaps happiness can become softer and more subtle into a sense of contentment seeing if you can find the feeling of enough already so that the heart's searching and grasping can ease, knowing that you can still get things done, you can still have big dreams while feeling contented already. Exploring the sense of contentment as an object of meditation.
letting go of frustration, letting go of disappointment, letting go of striving. Oh, finding the enjoyment of contentment. We're drawing on the third factor of concentration, which could be summarized as positive emotions. Moving from what could be said grosser, more obvious forms of positive emotion, such as gratitude or happiness, to subtler forms, such as contentment, and an even subtler form of positive emotion tranquility, opening to, softening into a growing sense of tranquility as your object of meditation, becoming absorbed in peacefulness as peacefulness is absorbed into you.
the body becoming tranquil, the mind becoming tranquil. Ah, at ease and at peace. can explore the fourth factor of concentration while staying tranquil and aware, being yourself as a whole, abiding as your mind as a whole with a sense of widening out to all the edges, abiding in the present as a single unified whole. There might be a sense of everything settling into a unified, stable sense of presence. Being yourself as a peaceful, heart open whole. And I'll be quiet for the remainder of the meditation. <laughs> 